Welcome back, trainers, and it's happening. We're going to be getting community day for Noibat into Noivern. Hey, I, I was telling you, I'm not going to say, oh my goodness, ah, we knew it was going to happen. I was trying to warn you to not waste your money on raid passes, incubators, whatever the heck is going to be out there. Let's go ahead and see what's going on and what's the deal with this thing. Unfortunately, we got a little bit of bad news and good news. It's going to be going down February 5th from 2 p.m. until 5 p.m. local time. You can Mega Evolve quite a few Megas. You got Mega Charizard Y, X, Pidgeot, Aerodactyl, Ampharos, Salamence, uh, and all kinds of other dragons there. Okay. Uh, so is it going to be good? <laughs> what move is it going to learn? Oh, well, we'll see here in a second. You're going to have three hour lures and incense. And here's the good part. Let's go for the good news first. Three times catch Stardust. Let's go. That's all that really matters. Okay. Oh, it has a horrible move? Okay, it doesn't really matter. It's a cool shiny, right? There's that. Times two candy for catching. More XL candy. Five Noi, Bur Noi Bats will show up when you do take a picture. So that's going to be something as well if you can't get out and hit a bunch of spawns. One dollar ticket like usual, always worth buying. Right. So what you're going to want to focus on, folks, for this event is going to be the Stardust. Catch as much as you can. Turn on a star piece and just go to town and get as much Stardust as possible. Maybe even get a Shunda, who knows, and collect that shiny Noibat, which is going to be rare for now, and then common soon, just like everything else that we've been going over, especially those other ones like Axio. So it's going to be learning something called Boom Bust, okay? It's going to be normal type, and it is a nuke move, which it already has. So in order for this Pokemon to actually have been viable, it needed... It needed a, a Roserade treatment. It needed a quick move, which Roserade was actually a didn't need two moves. They just gave it to Bullet Seed and Weather Ball. This thing needed a quick move and a charge move. Something like Dragon Claw, Shadow Claw, Dragon Tail, something else. Because as it is right now, it's useless. But what they're going to probably do is, come next season, they're probably going to give it a new move on top of this... <laughs> Boom Bust, which is normal typing. It's not even getting stab. Why are they intentionally trying to kill off this thing? All right, now let's take a look at what they could have given it. Okay, we have Gust. Okay. All right. Obviously, Absorb's not in the game yet. And a few other ones here. We got Tackle even could have been something. Wing Attack. Okay, uh, Bite. Air Cutter. Not great. Super Fang. Hmm. Air Slash. Okay, Hurricane, why not give it Gust? What, what What's the big deal? All right, so right now for its quick moves, it does have Air Slash and Bite, which are both, I mean, Air Slash is okay. Uh, bite, mm, not so much, especially if you're not getting Stab. So uh, what is going on here? They're probably setting it up for the next season of Go Battle League, I can guarantee you that. It also has Dragon Pulse, okay? Dragon Rush, if they wanted to introduce a new move, which would have been cool, I guess, but they're probably going to do that for Garchomp or another Community Day or something. Who knows? That's how they'll probably bring it in. Uh, let's see. We got Water Pulse, Acrobatics. Uh, okay. Water Pulse, I guess, is not going to be requiring a bunch of energy. Aerial Ace, for crying out loud, even. <laughs> I mean, what's really good here, folks? We got Dragon Tail, Brick Break. <laughs> okay, there's Shadow Claw. Can learn Shadow Claw for a quick move. It already has Air Slash Body Slam. Dragon Claw again. Dark Pulse. Okay, uh, I mean, so you see what's going on here. This is what they do, okay? It's a great shiny, and I'm not saying, oh, it's a garbage community day, because they're giving us three times Stardust. I don't give a dang about the move, okay? This thing was useless, and I already knew it was going to be continue to be useless if they didn't give it the double move treatment. Quick move as well as charge move. I mean, they could have gave it a decent, I mean, Dragon Claw, I guess, but it needs something else as well. Shadow Claw would have been fantastic. I mean, taking a look at some more here, we have Egg Scissor, Shadow Ball, Dragon Pulse, Psychic, Flamethrower, Wild Charge, Outrage, Hurricane. I mean, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, there's its nuke moves. It already has nuke moves, but uh, definitely could use a great quick move, which they're, again, probably going to introduce to it for season 14 of Go Battle League. So uh, yeah, don't hold your breath for that though. Well, if they don't introduce it during the next season of Go Battle League, I'm sure they'll give it a better move at some point in time because 
they know what they're doing. I mean, they, they've got the numbers and they know what's good, what's not, and all that stuff in between and how meta breaking a Pokemon is going to be when they give it a new move. They probably... <laughs> All right, never mind. I'm not even going to give that person too much credit. Anyways, let's go ahead and just take a look at what we have going on here for my inventory because I actually was um, lucky enough. I want to say luck. I don't revolve around luck. Uh, odds. I had good odds to hatch the shiny. I wasn't trying. I wasn't going to hatch crazy. It's just I incubated an egg that I picked up during a stop and uh, well, I was able to get the shiny here. Called it flying at the moment because I got it while I was on vacation or I wouldn't even call it vacation. A uh, family getaway time. And uh, I would equip that when I was on the plane when people were trying to get a hold of me or whatever the case is. So I can transfer the rest of these because I don't need them. <laughs> Holding on to a few in case we wanted a trade or something like that. But we're going to get a community day and everybody's going to have a shiny. So there is no need for me to hold on to these anymore. As a matter of fact, we're going to evolve my shiny right here because it's essentially useless now. You could say, well, it's a legacy shiny before the community day. Whoa. Yeah, 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 I guess. But I'm not going to be, you know, holding on that desperately to some sort of a notion like that. Okay. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and evolve. So here's another thing. It's going to require 400 candy. So you're going to have to get out there and grind a bit. So don't plan on making like, like you can make several, but uh, you're going to have to grind it out for those candies before you, uh, you know, try to uh, take off and say, I'm done. And then you leave and you got like, you know, 2,000 candies, which you're going to be able to make a couple, but you got to think about powering up if you want to actually max one out. And do you want to do that? No, uh, not at all. No, do not max this out at all yet. It might get a move in the future, but for now, whatever the hell that move is, it's getting is not great. You know, another thing you can look forward to is bringing up your dragon metal. So there you go, folks. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you all next time. sunshine and rainbows it's a very mean and nasty place and i don't care how tough you are it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it you me or nobody is going to hit as hard as life but it ain't about how hard you hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward how much you can take and keep moving forward that's how winning is done Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.